Hi, nice of you to join me on my mat today. Today's class will be a heart opening class. Enjoy. Come down onto the mat and lie down. You're gonna start real soft today. And I'll work on all the echoes and everything. Be gentle when you come and lie down. And whether you have your legs bent or stretched out, I'll leave that up to you. And just to start of the class, let's take a deep inhale and stretch your arms above your head. Make yourself nice and long. For those of you who've been awake for like ever and have done a half marathon already, maybe this will feel nice too. For those of you who just rolled out of bed, this is nice anyway. Very good, wriggle the fingers, wriggle the toes, and then take those arms back to your body, taking your right hand, placing it on your belly, lower, middle, or around your belly button, wherever it feels most comfortable, and then take the left one, place it onto your heart. Sort of wriggle your chin down towards your chest so that your neck is nice and long. And there's take three beautiful breaths through your nose and exhale through your open mouth. And again, inflating your entire body with beautiful oxygen and exhaling everything that doesn't serve you anymore through your open mouth. Last time. And then allow your body to grow heavy. Maybe allow that lower back to sink down towards the mat. Keep your chin close to your chest. Allowing that crown to grow tall or long, moving away from the rest of your body, allowing for extension. With your next inhale, I'd like you to inflate your belly, consciously pulling that breath up into your diaphragm and imagining a golden glow shining out into the world, then pulling that breath up into your heart's space and imagine either a globe or a flower Something that works for you today, expanding. Keep pulling that breath up past your throat, all the way up to your third eye, shine out, and then all the way to your crown. And then slowly exhaling from your crown all the way down to your heart, past that golden globe in your diaphragm, pulling your belly button back towards your spine and contracting your perineum. Let's do that four more times, trying to increase that inhale, consciously inflating your belly, and then traveling past those stages of diaphragm, golden globe, heart center, throat, third eye, and crown. And then slowly exhaling from right at the top, Dimming the light slightly, but only slightly, and right at the bottom of the exhale, contract the perineum. And three more inhaling. Expanding, extending, growing big. And on the exhale through the nose, becoming slightly smaller, flatter shallower, contracting the perineum. Two more inflating, expanding, growing big. When you come to your heart center, maybe you can think of a wish for yourself or a dear one to you, something that works for you today. And then slowly exhaling, dimming, reducing, Becoming slightly smaller. Attracting that perineum. Holding it until your next inhale happens naturally. 
And let's go into that last huge inhale. Exaggerate that balloon in your belly. Allow that golden globe to be huge. Allow that blossom or globe in your heart to expand past your physical boundaries. And pull all of that up into your throat, third eye. Allow it to shine out up into your crown. Receive all the goodness coming from around you. And then slowly exhale in slow motion. Past your third eye, past your throat, past your heart, your diaphragm, belly button goes back and hold that perineum. And with the next inhale, allow that right arm to come up, right arm covering your left hand on your heart center. Bend your knees, taking your feet close to your glutes so that it's comfortable to you. Connect to your heart center. Connect to the wish that you made before. Relax the corners of your mouth. And then with your next inhale, through your nose, expand everything you can. Release the hands above your head. And then exhale through your open mouth. <sighs> Returning the arms next to your body, palms facing down. And return to your normal breathing in and out through your nose and gently sway your knees from side to side. Another three, two, one. Come back to center with your knees and gently hug your knees towards your chest. Whether they're hip distance apart or close together is up to you. Point your toes and pull those knees so close to your chest so your glutes lift off the mat. Be gentle. Your spine is still not as warm as we'd like it to be just yet. Flex those toes, point those toes, and then rotate those ankles in both directions. And then roll over onto your favorite side. Not holding on to anything and allow your body to sink into the mat on your next exhale. One more deep inhale. And very slow exhale. And last one, deep inhale, and very slow exhale. And then with your next inhale, come back up onto a comfortable seated position of your choice. Open those eyes if they were closed, wriggle around so that you can feel those sit bones, lower glutes and even upper thighs. Rotate those shoulders in both directions. Maybe wriggle your entire body, shake out your head, whatever your body's asking for. And then interlace your fingers, turn the palms up and reach. Ensure that the palms, the crown, the shoulders and the hips are in one line stacked above each other. And with the next exhale, come down with your hands, flip those wrists so the palms are facing up and pull those wrists down. Slightly open your chest so that you can feel an opening across your shoulder girdles. Shoulder blades are pulling down and pull your chin down. You should feel a nice stretch from your earlobes down the side of your neck and across your shoulder girdle. We're going to repeat twice more. Inhale, go up, lengthen. Feel the opening of your chest and your heart space, the opening of your diaphragm, and envisage that golden globe again, radiating outward. Exhale, come down. Take your chin down, pull your belly button slightly back towards your spine so that you don't fall into a hollow back. Last time, inhale, go up. Stretch, allow those shoulders to come up towards your earlobes. Exhale, come down. Flip those wrists and if you can, flip the palms downwards towards the mat and just apply a bit of pressure. 
Just check in with your wrists, whether that feels okay for you today. And then release. Release the fingers, wriggle the fingers, rotate those wrists in both directions. Very good. Again, inhale up. And all we're going to do, let's set those shoulders down first, pulling the shoulder blades down towards the sit bones. On the next inhale, just allow those shoulders to come up, up towards your ears, perhaps taking your biceps closer to your earlobes. Splay those fingers, pulling your belly button back. Feel that space in your diaphragm. With an exhale, simply pull the shoulders down. The arms will widen a bit. That's normal. And inhale, go up again. Then repeat twice more. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last time, inhale up. Exhale down. Down, lower those arms and bend the thumbs in, roll those fingers into gentle fists, and then simply pull the knuckles towards your ears. Make sure that your chest is open, your lower ribs are pushing forward. Three, two, one, release. Flip your palms facing down and repeat, palms facing down. Pull the knuckles towards your ribs. And I'd like you to try moving the arms up towards your ears slightly and moving them down to see whether you actually lose the nice stretch you have in your lower arms, actually across the top of your hands, into your wrists, maybe into your elbows. Another three, two, one, and release. Flip one palm up, the other one down, and simply move those wrists, rotating them. Be gentle. Imagine your arms are beautiful silk scarfs and you're wringing them. So you don't want to just wring like you would a terry cloth towel or any cotton towels. Be gentle and listen into your upper arms. Listen into your shoulders. They might already complain a bit. They're getting nice and warm and just speed it up and start exaggerating the move in your wrist. So the thumb is guiding the movement. Another three, two, one. And now take the shoulders along. Slow and big rotation in that shoulder joint. Try to keep your rest of your body nice and stable and speed it up a bit. Three, two, one. Now take your upper body along, going side to side, warming up the side bodies, warming up your ribs. And we got another three, two, one, and simply lower those arms down. Rotate those shoulders in both directions. Maybe even shake out those arms and hands just to get any kinks out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower your left hand down. Right arm goes up towards the ceiling. And with the exhale, start bending. And I'd like you to start bending from your hip into the lower ribs. Open your chest, open your armpit. And only then start moving that arm and hand across. Beautiful stretch just above your hips. So if you close your chest, you will feel a stretch on the back of your ribs, below your shoulder blades. If you open your chest, you will feel a stretch in your side body. That's where we want to feel it. Mat hand presses against the mat to give you some leverage. And with the next inhale, we come into center. Exhale, drop the other hand down, the right hand down. With the next inhale, left arm goes up. And with the exhale, start bending from the hip into the lower ribs, into the armpit. Keep it nice and open. And only then start reaching the fingertips of your left hand across. The mat hand is giving you leverage, pushing against it. Both sit bones are beautifully rooted into the ground. Give it a try. Close that chest. Move that arm further away, that top arm, that left hand. Feel the difference in the stretch. And then come back. Give it another nice stretch. And with the next inhale, come back to center. Length. And exhale, twist to the left or the right. It does not matter. Luckily, we only have two sides. So the hand behind your glutes is rather close. The upper arm is pressing against the shoulder blade to give you leverage and you're looking to the back shoulder both shoulders are moving away from your ears 
Be gentle with that front hand, pulling on your knee. We're gonna repeat three more times on each side. So we will be able to twist a bit more. With the next inhale, come back. Exhale, change side. On this side as well, first twist, be gentle. Shoulders down. Back upper arm is pushing into the shoulder blade and the gaze goes to the back shoulder. Very good. Inhale, come back. And twist. Give it a try. When you inhale, move your belly button back towards your spine and see whether you can twist a tad bit more. With your next inhale, look forward and body comes front. Exhale, twist. Inhale, look forward, the rest of the body comes up. Twice more on each side. Inhale, look forward, twist. Exhale, change sides. So your spine is like a towel now, a terry cloth towel that we're wringing out, detoxing. And inhale, come back to center. Exhale, last time on each side. Inhale, look forward, and exhale, twist. Inhale, look forward, exhale, come forward. And then lower the right or left arm down. The other one goes around, come into eagle arms and turn to the side so that you can see. You're sitting nice and tall, shoulder blades pull down in the back, elbows go up, hands go away. You should feel the stretch in your shoulder girdle, base of your neck. We're going to repeat twice. On the inhale, we come into a slight back bend. Remember the belly button is pulled back towards the spine. Exhale, we come down. Elbows come down towards your belly. Round that upper back. Drop your chin. Feel the stretch between your shoulder blades. Inhale one more time up. Slight back bend. And keep those hands moving away from your forehead. Exhale, come on down. Inhale back to center. Release. Shake it out. Rotate those wrists in both directions. And repeat on the other side. Stretch the other arm. Wrap the arm around. Pull your shoulder blades down. Elbows up. Hands away. The palms are pressing against each other. On your next inhale, come into a slight back bend. Exhale, come forward, spreading those shoulder blades far apart. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale, come back to center, release it. Rotate your shoulders in both directions. Shake out all those arms and place your feet onto the floor or the mat. Now, come a bit more than hip width apart and use your hands if you need to or place them on your knees or take them in front of your heart center. Just a bit of hip mobilization. Drop one knee down to center. The glute will lift off the ground Granted, come back to center, drop the other one and be gentle. It's very big movement for your hips and your lower back. You're going to do two more on each side. Open that chest when you drop that knee, come down and change sides and back. And one more time on each side, come back to center. And last time, and come back to center, stretch out the legs and give them a shake. Come into tabletop and gently move into a cat pose, dropping that head down. Maybe you need to move your hips from side to side just to give a bit of movement there and mobility. Maybe you want to turn your hips or in circles. If you do so, do the rotation in both directions. And once you feel limber enough, come into a normal cat pose, tugging your tailbone under, dropping your chin down towards your chest, pressing your hands into the mat. Beautiful, strong arms, fingers are splayed. Your neck is nice and relaxed, being stretched at the base of it where it moves into the shoulder girdle. 
Your shoulder blades are being spread apart. Ribs are being nicely tucked together in the front. Belly button goes back. And tailbone comes under. Beautiful. Stay here for another two breaths. The last breath. And then tuck those toes under with your next inhale. Contract your belly muscles. And with the exhale, release, come into a neutral spine, pull your shoulders away from your ears. With your next inhale, lift those knees. You wanna take it a step further, stretch one foot out, closing that hip by rotating that ankle slightly. And that hovering knee goes down towards the mat. Strong fingers, strong toes. Or just remain with both feet on the ground. If you want to, you can stretch the other leg out, keep the hip closed, foot flexed, toes splayed. Beautiful. We're going to stay for another five, four, three, two, one. Because it was so beautiful, another one, two, three, four, five, drop the knees, come into a child's pose. Allow those fingertips to walk far away. Relax your glutes onto your heels. Release any possible tension you have in your lower back by slightly curling your tailbone under. Fingers are splayed, arms are strong. The arms are hovering above your mat. And before your next exhale, I'd like you to push your armpits down towards the mat. And then exhale. Let's do that one more time. Long inhale. Relax the shoulders. And before you exhale, push those armpits down. Feel the opening in the shoulder joint. And exhale, relax. Allow those hands to come closer to your head. Look forward and come back into a tabletop. Take one hand under your center line, pushing the hand into the mat. Other arm goes across. On the exhale, open. And allow it to be a small movement to start off with. Your hands are pulling in opposite directions, elongating your entire upper body. On the exhale, come down, thread that needle, come and lie onto that shoulder. The other arm comes up towards the ceiling. Either remain like that or wrap that upper arm around, grab hold of your inner thigh and look up towards the ceiling, rolling over the mat shoulder and opening the floating shoulder. Listen to your lower back, rather start small, and then increase that rotation with each and every breath. We stay here for three breaths. For the next breath, if you had wrapped your arm around, lift the fingertips up towards the ceiling on the inhale. On the exhale, come on back into tabletop slowly and come back into a cat pose. If you feel the urge to move your hips, your spine, please do so. If you feel like you wanna rotate that spine, do so in both directions. And let's meet in the neutral spine. Take the other hand into center line, push your hand into the mat. Extend the other hand up towards the ceiling. Your gaze follows your fingertips. Grow long in those arms. And with the next exhale, thread that needle, lie on to that shoulder, and then release that mat hand up to ceiling. Reach up. Allow that gaze to follow the fingertips up towards the ceiling. And stay here for three breaths or wrap that upper arm around. Grab hold of your inner thigh. Allowing that upper floating shoulder to rotate backwards, opening your chest, roll over the side of your head so that you can see the glimpse of the ceiling. Stay here for three breaths as well. Whatever pose you've taken. And then slowly release the fingers up towards the ceiling one more time. 
and then exhale, come on down, come back into a tabletop, into a neutral spine, and simply move your pelvis from side to side if your spine is asking for anything else. Please do so. Listen to your body. It's yours. You're here for yourself. I'm here for you. Very good. Move your hands to the front of the mat with the next exhale. Move your glutes back towards the heels coming into puppy pose. Chest goes down as far down as it can. Fingers are splayed. Arms are strong. They're hovering above the mat. Chin goes down towards or onto the mat. Eyes are open. If you can, gaze forward. Wherever you're gazing, keep those eyes open. Your glutes are either hovering above your knees or slightly behind your knees towards the heels, not in the opposite direction. And we're going to stay here for three breaths. The shoulder opener, a chest opener. You should feel a sensation of lightness in your lower back and in your lower belly. For two more breaths here. And then with your next inhale, slowly come on back up and go straight into a cat pose, pulling your chin down towards your chest. Shoulders go up towards your ears, shoulder blades splay. And then once those shoulders have been up to the ears, pull them away from your ears. Tuck your tailbone under. Stay here for two more breaths. One more. And then with the next inhale, come into neutral spine, move your hips from side to side, maybe take your shoulders along, and then take your hands further to the short side of the mat, tuck your toes under, come into plank. If plank is not yours today, as always, you can come on to lower plank, you can drop your knees down, you can drop knees and arms down. Challenge yourself. Hmm? Give yourself your max plus 10%. Okay. Move your feet a bit more than hip distance apart. With your next exhale, simply drop your heels to one side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, center. We're going to do four more on each side. And I advise you be rather slow than fast and enjoy the twist in your spine. Enjoy the obliques having to work and the side bodies. Got another three. And two. That is me counting. Maybe you were faster. Maybe you were slower. Let's just do one more repetition so that we're all on the same page. Very good. Come back to center. Just simply lift that left leg off the mat. Flex the foot. Ensure that your shoulders are above your wrists. Your gaze goes down to the mat. Lower your left foot. Lift your right one. Flex that foot. Beautiful. And repeat one more time on each side. Don't forget to breathe. Curl those lower ribs in. Change sides. And down. Drop your knees down. Come into child's pose. Dropping those glutes down onto your heels, relax the arms either ahead of your head or next to your thighs. Stay here for three breaths. Two more. And last one. Make it a beautiful, long and slow exhale. And with the next inhale, lift your forehead, come back into plank. Move one hand under the center line and open up into side plank. You can lower your one knee down onto the mat. Lift the other fingertips up to the ceiling. And simply grow tall stacking all the wrists and all the elbows and all the shoulders above each other. Fingertips go up. You're not opening your chest. Simply up. Another three, two, one. And come into plank. Stay there for three, two, one. And change sides. 
here as well. You can lower that one knee down onto the mat, pushing your lower hip away from the mat, growing tall. Fingertips reach up. Hold, three, two, one, and come on down. Lower your knees down, come into a child's pose, active arms. Tuck that tailbone under to lengthen your lower back. With the next inhale, we look forward, come forward, shift onto your hands, go down into Chaturanga. Lie down, inhale, shoulders back, come into baby cobra, push back into child's pose. We're gonna repeat that cycle four more times. Inhale, we come forward. Exhale, we go down. Keep those elbows really close. Inhale, rotate your shoulders backwards, baby cobra. And push back into child's pose. Three more. Inhale, come forward. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, rotate shoulders back. Come into baby cobra and push back. We go two more times. Come into a bigger cobra. Forward and down into Chaturanga. Rotate your shoulders back and come up a bit higher in the cobra and then back into child's pose. Last time, inhale, come forward, lower down into Chaturanga and inhale, rotate those shoulders back, come up as high as feels comfortable to you. Stay there. Shoulders are pulled away from your ear, shoulder blades squeeze together, elbows are close to your ribs, gaze to the tip of your nose. Three, two, one, and come back into child's pose and stay there. Take your arms next to your thighs, release your entire body weight down towards the mat. Two more breaths here. And last one, long, beautiful exhale. And then take your hands forward, gaze forward, push by a plank into a downward facing dog and walk that dog. Raising those heels as far as you can, take your knees, hips and shoulders along, shake out your head, whatever that dog of yours requires, give it to him or her. And while we're walking that dog, let's just ensure that this alignment is correct. So your fingers are splayed, the hands or wrists are shoulder width apart, which will give you about a gap of three to five centimeters between your thumbs. Your upper arms are rotated outwards, meaning your elbows are looking backwards or down towards the mat. Your shoulder girdle is nice and wide, shoulder blades pulled down. Your hips are moving far away from your ribs. And your feet or hip distance apart and your gaze goes towards your thighs or your belly button. Then we're going to pedal for another three, two, one, and find some beautiful stillness in this downward facing dog. Take your attention into your hips. It does not matter whether your heels are on the ground or your knees are bent. Move that pelvis far away from your shoulders. Feel the beautiful lengthening in your lower back. Enjoy that stretch from your heels all the way up to your fingertips. Breathe into the stretch. I'm gonna stay for another three breaths. Two more. And last one. With your next inhale, slowly look forward, move forward, and then take one foot between your hands. Drop the knee in the back, drop that foot, and push up into a low lunge. Allow your pelvis to sink down. Tuck that tailbone under. Come into a slide back bend just from your lower ribs to your fingertips, gaze up to the ceiling if your neck permits that. Very good. And then take your hands down onto the mat, tuck your toes, come into high lunge. Let's do the same thing again. 
Allow that pelvis to sink down, come into a slight back bend, tuck that tailbone under, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then exhale, come on down, take that front foot back, come into plank, go down into Chaturanga, inhale, come into upward facing dog or cobra. And then pull yourself back into downward facing dog, walk the dog for three, two, one, find some stillness and shake out that head. With the next inhale, look forward, take the other foot forward. Drop the back knee, back foot down. Come into a low lunge. Enjoy that beautiful stretch in that hip flexor. With the next exhale, come into a slight back bend from your lower ribs up to your fingertips. Tailbone is tucked under. And then take your hands down. Curl the toes under your back foot. Stretch that leg. Come into a lunge, allow the pelvis to sink down. And with the next exhale, come into a slight back bend. Tailbone's tucked. And then exhale, take your hands down, move that foot back, come into plank, go down with your exhale into Chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And then move back into downward facing dog. Walk that dog. Shake out that head. Three, two, one, and find some stillness. With the next inhale, raise 10 toes. Pelvis goes away from your shoulders. Push those heels down. With the next exhale, lower the toes. Inhale the heels up. Allow those sit bones to get a glimpse of the ceiling today. And then exhale the heels down, inhale, look forward and slowly walk towards your hands. Your feet are hip distance apart and exhale into a forward fold. If this is too much strain for the back of your knees, bend your knees and allow your chest to sink down onto your thighs. Transfer your weight to your toes so that they really have to work. Tuck your chin down towards your chest. Pull those shoulder blades wet away from your ears, all the way back to your sit bones. And with your next exhale, release the shoulders down. One more time, inhale. Pull the shoulder blades back down towards your sit bones. And exhale, release. Very good. On your next inhale, you're slowly going to come up into a standing position. Fingertips go up towards the ceiling. Grow tall, exhale, come into a slight back bend from your lower ribs to your fingertips, tailbone is tucked under. Inhale, come back into a straight standing position, exhale, hands down. Mountain pose, very good. Step one foot backwards, come into warrior one. If you're wobbling, move your front foot to the side of your mat. Tuck your tailbone under. Inhale, grow long. Exhale, rotate those arms backwards. Interlace the fingers behind your back and then pull those arms past your glutes, opening your chest. If you can, gaze up towards the ceiling. Opening that heart. On the next inhale, slightly come back to neutral. And then exhale, come into humble warrior. Your chest goes down towards your thighs. Interlaced fingers go up towards the ceiling. Inner thighs, perineum are working real hard to keep you nice and stable. Your toes are grasping on your mat. Beautiful. With your next inhale, come into a half lift like that, flat back, lower your hands down onto your back, release your fingers, take your corresponding hand to the front foot, and then open up, reaching the other hand up towards the ceiling. With the exhale, take the hand down, place one hand to either side of your foot, stretch that front leg, engage that quad, and pull the corresponding sit bone backwards, squaring your hips. Exhale, come into a forward fold. 
down towards your extended front leg. Should feel the stretch of the hamstring of that front leg. With the next inhale, slowly come on back, bend that front leg, come back into warrior one. Open up into warrior two. Put weight into the outer foot and exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale back, warrior two. Windmill those hands down, come back into plank, cross the ankles, come on down into chaturanga, uncross, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, come back into downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, take the other foot forward, coming into warrior one on the other side, placing the heel down of your back foot, making sure that that front knee is above your ankle. Come into a slight back bend on your next exhale. Tail little bone is tucked. Inhale, come back. Rotate those arms backwards, interlace those hands and fingers, pull those fingers and hands down past your glutes. Slight back bend. Opening that heart. With your next inhale, come back to neutral. And then lower down into humble warrior. Chest going down towards your front thigh, arms and fingers and hands are going up towards the ceiling. Drop that neck and head. Come back, half lift, release the fingers, drop the corresponding front foot hand and open up. Other fingertips reach up towards the ceiling. With your next exhale, place one hand left and right, hugging that front foot. Extend that front leg, contract that quad, and exhale, come on down, pulling that front hip backwards so that you really feel the stretch in that hamstring of your front leg, squaring your hips to the front of your mat, slightly turning your chest towards that extended front thigh. Relaxing your neck and head downward. With your next inhale, slowly come on up, bend that leg, come back into warrior one, and then open up into warrior two. Ensure that your shoulders are above your hips. There is weight in the outer corner of your back foot, gazing to your front middle finger. With your next exhale, windmill your hands down, come into plank, cross your ankles, go down into chaturanga, uncross those ankles, and come into upward facing dog or cobra. And then move back into downward facing dog, walk that dog. Enjoy that stretch, shake out that neck and head. Take your hips and shoulders along, walking that dog. Enjoy that stretch from toes to fingertips along your entire front side. Another three, two, and one, and come into a beautifully rested downward facing dog. Extend the backside. With your next inhale, gaze forward. If you wanna jump forward, bend your knees and hop. Gonna meet in a half lift. Straight back, straight legs. Exhale, come into a forward fold. Bend your knees slightly and with the next inhale, come into standing position. Slight back bend from your lower ribs to your fingertips, tailbones tucked. And then inhale, come back to neutral. Exhale, your hands down in front of your heart center. Beautiful, hands down into mountain pose. Shake it all out. Come into goddess pose. And make sure that your feet are not too far apart because we do want to lift those heels. Take your hands into cactus. 
ensuring that you have a 90 degree angle between your lower arm and your upper arm, splaying those fingers. And we are simply going to twist to one side on our exhale. The back arm is guiding the movement, pulling backwards. Inhale, we come back to center. And exhale, twist to the other side. Two more repetitions on each side. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time on this side. You're doing a great job. Inhale, back to center. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower those heels onto the ground. Your hands are on your thighs. Release your pelvic weight. Push into one inner thigh and gaze up towards the ceiling. You should feel a nice stretch in your inner thigh, in your flank and shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, turn the other side. Really release that shoulder down towards the mat. Keep the arm nicely extended. Applying a bit of pressure to the inside of that inner thigh. And inhale, come back to center. Walk your feet closer, come into Malasana. If your heels are not on the mat, just double up your mat or get a cushion or a book to put under your heels so that you can actually release your body weight, okay? And come into a round Malasana, like an armadillo. Nice and round, tuck that chin down towards your chest. Your hands are in Anjali Namudra if they feel comfortable there. If not, drop those hands down onto the mat and gently sway from side to side. And consciously tug that chin down towards your chest. Very often we just drop our head, but you, there's sort of like 10% more that you can just tug that chin down and that gives you that extra stretch in your neck. If you feel any discomfort in your lower back, contract your lower belly muscles and tuck that tailbone under. Okay, make it nice and stable and giving it a bit more of an extension. We're going to stay here for another three, two, one. And then come back to center. Take your hands into Anjali Namudra if it wasn't. And then slowly start extending that spine. Be really nice and slow. And then take one hand and place it on the outside of like foot, fingertips facing backwards. And the further back you can move with your hand towards the ankle or past the ankle, upper arm is pressing against the knee, the more you will be able to open the chest and extend the other arm up towards the ceiling. So it's not just we're opening, we are extending up strong arms and you're lifting out of the corresponding hip. So feel that length and either stay there or we come into a bind and I will turn around so that you can see. So one hand's facing backwards, the other one is extending up. We're gonna flip that arm around so the palm faces backward, same on the other hand. And then we're gonna go see whether we can grab a fingertip, a hand or a wrist. And then I'll turn to the side so that you can see. And then we're going to move that upper floating shoulder backward, opening the heart space up towards the ceiling. Your gaze is following. So wherever you look, your body is going to move. So if you look forward, your shoulder will automatically close. So allow the shoulder to open by gazing upward. Your feet are planted firmly on the mat. And we're going to stay in whatever position you've taken for three breaths. Try to contract your perineum, be long in your spine. We've got one more breath here. And with an exhale, release. Rotate the shoulders in both directions. And we're gonna do the other side. So take the other hand, place it on the outside of your foot. The further back, the better, or you will see. Give it a try, okay? And then either extend the hand up in the next exhale. And be proud. There's something up there that you really would like to get right now. 
displaying those fingers. Feel a stretch in your side body. Either stay here or go into a bind, rotating that floating shoulder back or gazing up. And this side might be easier or it might be more difficult. It's just perfect the way it is. Another two. And one. And with your next exhale, let's just have all those fingers of the floating hand reaching up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, we'll meet in Anjalina Mudra. Hands pressing against each other and traditional malasana allowing those knees to press outward with the aid of your elbows close your eyes briefly for two breaths lift your ten toes exhale toes down inhale heels up exhale heels down and take your hands down onto the mat turn so that you could Sit on your mat, bending those knees, grab hold of the knees round your lower back and allow yourself to gently and slowly roll down onto the mat. Take the knees along, hug them towards your chest. Tuck that chin down so that your neck is flush with the mat and rotate your ankles in both directions. Then move those knees close together, curl into a tiny ball. Point those toes, shoulders move away from your ears. And then release your body down to the mat again. Extend the arms and legs. Allow them to float. Reach far away. Your core is working. Your glutes are working. The back of your head is supporting your upper body. Hold there for five, four. Three, two, one, and lower your back down. Pull those knees towards your chest again. Drop that neck down. Pull your knees so hard towards your chest so that your glutes lift off. Flex the toes. Point the toes. Flex and relax. Release the knees down. Feet go onto the mat again. Arms go out, palms facing down. And gently sway your knees from side to side. Take your head along if it feels good. I'm going to do another three, two, one. Come back to center. Now take your hands and place them under your glutes. I'm going to go into fish pose for those of you who know it. Extend those legs out. They're engaged. Toes are pointed. Now you're going to inhale. You're going to lift your upper back off the mat and then slide those bent elbows under your lower back. Lift your head and replace the crown of your head down onto the mat. So you're coming into a very hollow back. Your entire upper back side of your body is off the mat. If this is not yours, just lay down onto the mat in preparation for Shavasana. For those of you who are in fish pose and want to take it a notch up, remove the hands from under your glutes. Stretch the hands up in Anjalina Mudra. Fingertips go up towards the ceiling. For those of you who want to take it a notch further, lift your legs. Contract that belly. Fingertips reach up, giving you reach off that mat. Three, two, one. And then slowly come down again and lie down onto the mat. Extend your entire body from toes to fingertips. Hug your knees towards your chest. Curl into a small ball, taking your nose to your knees or knees to nose. Allow them to meet. Shoulders are moving away from your ears. And then release your body down onto the mat. Extend arms and legs up in bear pose. Tuck your chin down towards your chest. Splay those fingers and toes. 
Move the arms and legs out slightly and cross and out and cross and come back to center. Three, two, one, shake it all out. And with the next exhale, allow those arms and legs to release down onto the mat, palms facing up. Take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale through your open mouth. And again. And last one. Gently sway your head from side to side. Allow the movement to become bigger, so maybe one or the other ear can almost touch the mat. Feel the stretch in the side of your neck, down into your shoulder. Allow your ankles to fall outward. Allow your glutes to grow heavy and sink into the mat, followed by your lower back shoulder blades, and allow that head and neck movement to become smaller. And to your nose is facing upward towards the ceiling. Your toes, feet, and ankles, knees, and legs. Relax. your pelvis, your glutes, and lower back. Relax. Your belly, your chest, and shoulder blades. Relax. Your shoulders, elbows, arms, and hands. Relax. your neck, the back of your head, your entire face and throat. Relax. Allow your entire backside of your body to sink into the mat. Relax. Allow your side bodies to sink into the mat. Relax. side of your body to sink downward. Relax. Your entire body grows heavy, sinks through the mat.
With your next inhale, bring your attention back into the space around you. Feel the mat beneath your body. And with your next inhale, bring your attention back into your beautiful body by wriggling your toes and fingers. And then inflate your belly with the next inhale. And reach your arms over your head, giving yourself a beautiful stretch from your toes to your fingertips. And then hugging one knee after the other towards your chest. And gently swaying from side to side to activate Idan Pingala, the nadis left and right of your spine. And then roll over onto your favorite side, releasing your entire body weight into the mat one more time. If possible, don't hold on to anything at all. into a comfortable seated position of your choice. Allow your hands to relax wherever they feel most comfortable. Your sit bones are rooting you into the mat, into the center of the earth, keeping you grounded. Your inner thighs, hips, lower belly are soft. Your solar plexus, that beautiful golden glow is expanding, glowing outward, relaxing. Your heart center is radiating outward. Your shoulders are relaxed and floating away from your ears. The edges of your lips are relaxed. Your forehead is at ease. And allow your crown to grow tall upwards towards heaven. Open for all the goodness that is out there. With your next inhale, take your hands into Anjalina Mudra, thumbs touching your sternum. Lower your forehead down to the fingertips in gratitude for the time and effort you invested in yourself today. Release the forehead. Move those thumbs up to your forehead. With gratitude and love, I realize who I am. Move those hands down to your heart center. With gratitude, I realize who I am, what I have, and what I have to give. Place your left hand onto your heart center, cover it with your right hand. Connect with that initial wish, the beginning of the class. Anchor it in your heart. And allow that sentiment to grow throughout your emotional and physical being. Radiate outward. And be your companion for the rest of this week and the coming week. In the class, we'll do three lines breath. You can keep your hands on your heart, take them into Anjalina Mudra, or take them out into cactus, whatever rocks your boat today. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your open mouth, stick out your tongue, bark, whatever feels fantastic to you today. Let's go. Last time. I wish you an absolutely fantastic, phenomenal Sunday. Beautiful day. And thank you so much for joining me.